I'm back. So this video is specifically, I specifically recorded it uh, to show um, what problems I encountered uh, when I imported the file, the FBX file that we exported in the previous video into ZBrush. Uh, and how I solved the problem, well, maybe halfway, but still it worked for me so I can continue working on the model. So here we go. Just to fast forward. <clears throat> yes, imported the FBX file, and as you can see, there is some holes there. Yeah, um, ZBrush is taking time uh, sometimes when I import the FBX file to, um, I think, while it's converting it, you, you can't do anything. It's just how it works. It doesn't do the same with OBJ file. It's bizarre. But hey, it's one of those things, isn't it? <laughs> Software for you. There we are. We can navigate now. So as you can see, the holes there. I didn't have that in Maya, did I? And uh, it's almost as, as far as I understand it, it, it looks like there's um, overlapping geometry maybe, and it just, I don't know. I can't really explain it. I did try to figure it out. So I went back to into Maya to investigate a little bit further. Uh, so yeah, I selected all my vertices. I thought, mm, what if I have some um, standalone vertices there causing me trouble? You remember in one of the videos before when we were using the quadro tool, I said, be careful with the vertices because, you know, if we if we uh, draw a vertex somewhere, let's export it as OBJ and try with the OBJ. Uh, some vertices standing alone there, they cause trouble. So they will create um, faces which we don't want. Quads and triangles compatible with uh, Z2. <clears throat> and the OBJ, as you can see, uh, it doesn't have any holes. But if I go to Poly F, I do have those triangles there, which was fine. I could have used this and I could have continued working, but it was really, really annoying for me. I just wanted to figure it out. And I don't think I did at the end. <laughs> So if any of you know um, why this was happening, please do let us know. Uh, I just really want to know um, the answer to that. So uh, try deleting uh, the vertices. Let's fast forward. You see the loops, the, the loops are, are not where they're supposed to. It, it should be one continuous loop and it's not. And I'm checking whether there is overlapping geometry, but there isn't. So, um, you know, please do let us know. I really want to know what's causing this. And Okay, as a whole, I did afterwards. Let's fast forward. I deleted uh, half of it, mirrored it again to see whether it's causing, um, that's what co was causing the, the problem after, you know, uh, applying the mirror modifier. Okay. I was still trying to figure it out. Need that again. And I think at the end I just gave up and I just used the um, FBX file and went to geometry in ZBrush and I just closed the holes. I was thinking, okay, let's try something here. And that's close the holes. It's basically like uh, the OBJ file um, when the OBJ file was imported. When we imported the OBJ, it closed the holes automatically. So I think I ended up um, using this, and um, 
I did try with Ziri meshing it, but I wasn't um, very sure that, um, you know, I will get uh, the geometry which would have worked for the animation. So, yeah, definitely not because I don't have these nice loops that I created on the retopology. So, yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? <clears throat> uh, I just wanted to show you that... Um, uh, that's how I figure out um, things. It's, you know, thinking, oh, okay, uh, even if I can't completely fix the problem, because obviously I, I didn't fix the problem with uh, those triangles there, um, how can I work with this? And I closed the holes, I was able to work, and I think uh, afterwards when I uh, exported it from ZBrush back into Maya, I didn't have the triangles. So, yeah, let's fast forward to the sculpting part now. It's a bit boring here. Added the subdivision modifier. And we are starting to sculpt now. <clears throat> so maybe I can fast forward a little bit this as well. Some masking the top part so I can do the, the back detail on top and uh, extracting it and changing the thickness of the extraction part so um you know I'm sure you know this this is this is enough geometry there it looks like it so I'll smooth it out a bit <clears throat> my reference picture in so I can check the detail on the back We did sculpt that part in the first model, which we retopologized. But um, what I was thinking is um, I wouldn't be able to uh, add there enough geometry for that detail for the normal map. If I made it part of the whole model, I don't think that it would have worked um, for that detail. Maybe there was another way of not making it a um, uh, separate part. Maybe just adding the, the the detail, a little bit more geometry just to that part, subdividing it to just that part. But I thought to test this version and see how it works. It did work, but with the weight painting later on, it wasn't um, very easy. So maybe it would have worked better if I added addition, um, um, sorry, <laughs> additional subdivisions to the geometry just there. But yeah, that's one way of doing it. Yeah, this part was very frustrating, I remember. <clears throat> and I decided to uh, publish that video for the reason, uh, for the reasons that um, uh, I wanted to um, show how I uh, overcome problems and that um, things are fixable. We just need to be um, brave enough to um, work with the geometry. In the beginning, when I started learning, I remember I was so scared adding um, things here and there, you know, and moving on to the next step because I was so worried that if I mess up something, I would not be able to uh, fix it. And in the beginning, I remember I was saving for every every little step. I was saving a different file. So in case if I do something wrong and I don't know how to fix it, I can go back to the previous version, which is like really recent. Don't do that anymore, obviously. Um, but, uh, yeah. Are we done with this? Yes, we are. Thank you for watching. And, um, I'll see you in the next one, which I'm not sure what we're doing next. So it will be a surprise for me as well. Thank you.